Warning, this video contains content that's dark and manipulative. It's only for defensive purposes and for entertainment. Viewer's discretion is advised. All right, guys, so I'm going to talk to you guys about three things that I learned when I was a nice guy, all right? And this is this was most of my life when I was a young kid. I was a Bible teacher. I taught the Bible. Um, all I did was pray. I mean, it used to be to the point where I, I would invite women into my, into my room when I, when I lived with my mom. And my mom wouldn't worry that I was having sex because all I did was just read them the Bible, right? And I think some of them were a little disappointed. They were like, this nigga, this nigga's gay shit. But the point is, it's just to show you guys how much of a nice guy I was. I mean, for the love of God, all I wanted to do with women was to convert them to Christ. You cannot get any more nicer than that, people, okay? So we're going to be talking about uh, what I learned from that experience and how I can help you guys avoid those kind of mistakes, all right? Because we are sold an image of women through TV, and through the people in our lives. We're told that women are one way. The truth is, women are the complete opposite of what they come across, you know? Let's just put it that way. They're the complete opposite of, of, of what they show, all right? So I'm gonna be, give you guys three of those little revelations, and I hope you guys can learn from this, okay? And I want you all to thank all of my Patreon supporters, Thank them all, you see them right there. Um, they have improved the quality of the videos. Um, they also um, support my new channel on Patreon where I give self-help advice, where I have a book club on there. I mean, thank them all, man, because they definitely up the quality of the video and join them so that you guys can be part of this movement because YouTube might one day delete a lot of dating coaches channel people. I'm just letting you guys know. They might delete minds as well. You know, so go check me out there so that God forbid something happens, you guys have me there. And that's where I have exclusive content as well. Exclusive content. And if you watch the last if you watch the rest of the video towards the end, you'll get two bonus things that I learned as a nice guy. So just watch the whole video and you'll get that. Let's begin. It is very simple. And, 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 and again, a lot of these things, we could just sum it up into human nature. But generally speaking, the more you give to women, the more they take from you, right? The more time you have, the, more, the less time they have from you, for you. The more open you are emotionally to them, the more closed they are emotionally. Okay, some of you guys might get lucky and find a girl who reacts to your neediness, but you know what happens? Eventually, that's gonna end, and you're gonna end up returning to the single world even more of a simp because your simp behavior was rewarded by that woman. So now you go back out, uh, outside and you try to do you try to create lightning, lightning once again and you try to give and you try to be this open guy and you realize it doesn't work. These women are savages, guys. The more you give to these women, the more you open up to them quicker, the more they close down and the less they give. So in the opposite, it has to be that you cannot give that much to them. You know, learn to be more closed emotionally a little bit. Learn to be more closed. L learn to not reveal how you feel too fast. Even if she pressures you, just say you don't know yet. Be that person that you don't know how you feel yet, essentially. And that's what I learned. I'm telling you, man, this is the, the common characteristics amongst assholes. This is the common characteristics among guys that women can't get over it. Why? Because I coach them. They tell me. I, I You don't think I fucking take notes when I'm working with clients? I ask them, so what, what are the characteristics in this guy that makes you like him? And th these are the common things. I may talk about things that I learned uh, about, about coaching women. So if you guys want me to make that video, comment down below. Look, when women are tired of being played by the assholes, and all of a sudden you'll see this really hot girl coming into your life, and you're like, what the fuck did I do? And then you realize that her ex was an asshole. And you like, and you think that she's upping. I could promise you, she's only going to you because she just wants to taste of something different. She's only going to you because she just wants to have control one for once. She's only going to you because she might want to get her ex jealous. She's only going to you because she wants to try something different, like I said earlier. The point is that that relationship will end quicker than it started. Simple as that. Or she, he'll end up, she'll end up cheating with you. It's like, it's like that movie from the casino where Robert De Niro, we could say he was acting like a nice guy. Um, he was going out with this woman who was not over her pimp. And so we, we might say the same thing where I'm a richer, I'm, I'm more richer than her ex. You know, I'm a better looking guy than her ex. 
but you don't know that her ex was an asshole. And the things about assholes that, like I said earlier, they're more close emotionally and they hurt the woman's self-esteem. They make, they make her feel like shit. And you might think that, 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 that women don't want to feel like shit, that they don't like to feel like shit, right? But the truth is, is that it's like me, it's, it's like me saying, I wanna, I hate weed, but I keep smoking weed, right? You might not like to feel like shit, but for some reason, you stay feeling like shit because you return to home. It is an unconscious attraction to the pain that they have. It's the same thing with this. And so if you're a nice guy and you're dating a woman who dated an asshole, I, which, my dude, you, got, you better start acting cold, my nigga. You better start acting cold with that woman. You better stop treating her like a goddamn queen. Because what, what by, by you, and it's not that you're a complete, a complete asshole to her, but that you just are not always there. You're just not 100% reliable. You're just not, like you, you, like, you don't always treat her fair. Like, you don't always show up. You don't always text back fast. You don't, you don't make her feel certain. You make her feel uncertain. But the problem is that as nice guys, we naturally want to make the woman feel certain about her looks. We want to make her feel good about herself. And that's what, once you make her feel good about herself, She's gonna feel, she, she's not gonna feel that need to stay with you because you, you already gave her what she wants. The reason why she was, she's not over her ex is because her ex made her feel like shit. And so she wants to recover that. She wants to sort of beat him. Beat, when I say beat him, I mean, she wants to make, she, she wants to win. And so what she, some women do is that they return to the nice guy as a way to recover. And then they go back to the guy and then, go, and then the pattern returns again, right? They are not confident. You see, we assume that women are confident. We assume because they take they take long to text back, they always cancel dates, and they're hard to get. And so we assume that they're very confident. Women have very fragile egos. The reason why she they act confident is this, is because a lot of the times they just don't like you. They may act like they like you, but they're just charming you. And that's why they're able to pull away so easily. That's why if they don't like you and you treat them like shit, they'll leave because, and they'll, and they'll tell you they leave because they have high confidence or because they have high standards. The only reason they leave is because they're not emotionally attached to you. When they get, if they were emotionally attached to you, some of these women, and you treat them like shit, they won't leave. They, don't, they act confident when they don't like you. That's not a sign of confidence. Confidence is when you really like somebody and you have to leave. These women act confident with guys that they don't like. They, 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 they act confident with the guys that they, don't, that they don't like. Act confident with the guys that you like, and then, and then that's true confidence. A lot of these women look confident because they just keep rejecting you. They just don't like you. It's not that they're confident. It's that they just don't like you. And also, they're not over their exes. And when they're not over their exes, they'll show you they like you, right? And you'll do some of these strategies. You'll pull away, and they'll be like, oh, how dare you pull away? You can't treat me like this, and then she pulls away. You might think, wow, like this woman is confident. No, dude, it's just that she's not over, she's not over her ex. A lot of these women get into relationships, especially the ones that look like they like you a lot in the beginning. The reason why that is, is because they're not over their ex. So, so they have a lot of emotions. But as soon as her ex comes back, as soon as you do something wrong, they pull away. Why? Because they really didn't like you. They're just, all, they're just on the rebound. That women just look confident because they're the ones that you have to approach. So it's easy for them. So they could just stand there. But have them, have them have to do, have them force them to do the same shit and watch what happens. So women are just not confident, my dudes. They just appear confident, confident because of the position they're in. It's, they, they were really confident as when they become older, they wouldn't be holding on to their youths. It's just how it is. If they were really confident, they wouldn't let an asshole completely take completely take control of them. If they really, if they were, if they were really confident, they, they these strategies that I teach wouldn't work on them. But it does because it's more sophisticated. And one last one is this: a bonus one, two bonus ones. In fact, they settle for you. Usually, when a woman dates a nice guy, she is settling. She couldn't get the guy that she wanted, the guy that dumped her. So she finds a nice guy because he will not dump her. He, she finds a nice guy because he will not leave her. And that's why that same woman who's acting like a bitch to you, with the, with the guy that dumped her, with the alpha guy, she has completely submissive. And one last thing, when you're a nice guy, women are not as freaky with you. They're not as sexual, unless she's the dominant kind 
and she's naturally freaky and she lets you join in her freakiness not because she's submitted to you not because she she she's she's like oh my god but because she is almost like it's almost like there's a difference between being sexual because she's a dominant as opposed to her being sexual because she's submissive completely different you know like if you're if you're a submissive dude and she's the dominant kind, but you you happen to get lucky with a sexual girl, you can't tell her to come over and suck your dick. She does it. She might do it, don't get me wrong, she might do it all the time, but you have no control over it. That's what I'm trying to say. And when you're a nice guy, women are more vanilla with you. When you're a nice guy, they don't even suck your dick that much. They'll suck your dick the first two dates. And then after that, her, 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 her mouth hurts, you know, or she's tired and shit. You see, they're, they're you, Nice guys, they get some women, but you don't get the full spectrum of their nature. So tell me, what are what are the things you guys have learned from your nice guys, from your nice um, guy um, days? What is something you wish you would have told your nice self when you were younger? Right, and comment down below and tell me what kind of videos you guys want me to make next. Comment down below and I'll read them. Peace out. All right, guys. So I want you guys to check out my online course called Dark Game. That's right, people. Dark Game. And this course is pretty much I reveal to you the secret tactics, the secret techniques to create attraction in almost any woman, right? But not just attraction, attraction to the point that makes her want to see you all the time, where she's the one initiating all the contact, right? Now, now just imagine to be able to keep all of the girls in your life that that you lost because of you because of your stupidity imagine and i had stupidity too imagine being able to keep them imagine being able to have five six women available to you wanting to see you imagine being able to create intense relationships where they're all doing all the work people that kind of stuff does exist people now i'm not going to promise you to that you're going to bang like 40 50 women i'm going to promise you that you're going to be able to keep the women you have that you, you that you get with I can promise you that, that they keep on the will increase with this course. But let me keep showing you something. This course is pretty huge, people. It's a huge course. This course has over 50 videos, 50 videos, right? And some of them you can get for free. If you if you just sign up, you, you get free videos, right? But in, in these videos, let me show you guys the, the, the course, right? <laughs> All right, oh, guys. Shit. <laughs> That's me right there, right? In this video, I pretty much teach you guys how to find your purpose right all this is how to find your purpose discovering your purpose right i teach you guys then about female psychology all of the principles about female psychology you guys need to understand i then teach you guys the mindset the the the, the, the proper mindset that you need that you guys need to deal with women after that I teach you guys 21 videos on how to game i mean pretty this is just it's pretty much unbelievable man i, I gotta <laughs> make this available right but it's unbelievable how many i pretty much put everything out of game social circuit game strategies threesomes foursomes everything right and on top of that i give you guys a a, um, a few bonuses how to overcome approach anxiety why you can't take actions a dickens pattern to change your mentality how to go from open to transitions right 81 minute long people this is like i don't know how long this is but this is hours hours and i mean hours worth of content and you get a 30-day money-back guarantee. I mean, you, you without questions asked. All for $99, people. People, this is originally this could be this could be around a few thousands to be honest with you, right? But you guys get it for $99, right? All you gotta do is just go over here, purchase the course, you know, and you'll get access to it. And if you don't like it, you could just message me and get and get your money back, people. Look, man, this is don't be hard-headed, people. Don't be hard-headed. If you this is the course that you guys need right it gives you guys everything i cover everything i could promise you man this is you're not going to get a more in-depth course on how to attract women and keep them more than this all right anyways people check it out 30 days my money back guarantee there is no risk and you can get the free course you can get the free trial the free trial of these videos that you get for free right you guys can just sign up you can watch all of these videos for free, right? And there's no, and you don't have to pay, all right? Anyways, I'll see you guys inside. I run, I want to see you guys inside because again, people, this, you, you can't lose nothing. There's a 30-day money back.